plant cell. But before that, let's know what is a plant cell. Plant cells are the basic unit of all plants, meaning they are eukaryotic and they have a membrane-bound nucleus and organelles. So let's go on the video! Here are the materials that we're gonna use for our plant cell. Number one is a styrofoam. The second one is a clay. It must be multiple colors so it can be colorful. The third one are yarns. I use two colors for this, but it's your choice on what colors are you gonna use. Fourth is a foam paper. Fifth is an illustration board. Six are a scissor and a glue gun. Seventh are coloring pens. Next up are painting materials. And for the last one, a toothpick. Cut the styrofoam on your preferred size. Cover your table with newspaper and get ready to paint your styrofoam. Once you're done painting, cut the foam paper into pieces like this. Heaten up your glue gun and get ready to stick the foam paper strips into the sides of your styrofoam. These strips of foam paper will act as a cell membrane and a cell wall to your plant cell. Be careful on doing this part because you may end up burn yourself with a glue gun. It should end up looking like this. Here's the part where I put the clay and the yarn on the styrofoam to act as the part of the cell. Cutting the paper and labeling each part of the cell. I'm sticking the toothpick on the labeled parts of the paper so that we can stick it on the plant cell. Once I'm done labeling the parts, I stick the plant cell on the illustration board. Ta-da! Here's the finished product of my 3D plant cell. I also wrote the parts and functions of the plant cell because our teacher told us to do so. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy and liked it.